I am the Chronicler. I shall record your adventures in my book of legends. Tell me of your deeds. Alright, let's play some more Pillars of Tourney. Leaving our sun in shadows. This one's a weird place. Freaking uh, drakes everywhere, shadow drakes. Mm. Oh, this looks crazy. Huh? Eh? I am trusting you to remain mm. loyal to the gods in this. If you do not, you will have greater powers than me to answer to. Mm. But you will answer to me as well. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't ask this were there any other choice. Hmm. What is Ooh, check this out. This is a missionary, same as I was, taught the wrong things as I was. Let's see, I need a, uh, do I have a... Uh, yo, actually, I can't use scrolls, huh? Nope, 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 what's that? Uh, spell defense bonus? Hmm. Overseeing. Uh, plus ten percent area of effect. Oh wow. It's a speed. I got all these traps, man. They just not worth it. They rigged it where you can't have that many, you can't have that many traps on the ground. So what what's useless? Like? What's that? Broad belt of power. Uh, light plus two, resolve plus two. Huh. Light plus three. Uh, regeneration. Give that to him. Hmm. You know, you're wearing a belt, huh? You might not be to wear a belt. Hmm. Hmm. Osionis. They have held off many would be invaders. You are ready to give a confession? I'm ready to hear one from you.
Given the illusion of boundless death, your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they are all questions. At the base of the pillar stands, they also look concerned on his face, and as he notes your approach, you have something you want to ask him one question about all the others, spinning madly in your mind. You are, you are far from your post, Inquisitor. What brings you here? Was I ever telling the truth? That woman sought only to destroy the foundations of peace and civility that my people sacrificed everything to build. What does it do? It has many uses, but its purpose is to bring structure to the chaos that surrounds it. All these statues, who are they? Uh... They are monuments to Woodica's greatest servants among my people. Hmm. I hope to join them myself one day. But my work is not yet complete. Was the entire Inquisition based on a lie? The Inquisition was based on the need to cut the flesh from a rotting wound. We are in a sanctum holy to Woodica. There are others like it in service to the other gods. I come here often to pray for her counsel. And in this space I may be assured that she hears me. said the gods could end suffering. Tanner says nothing. Are there, are there no gods? What is a god? Hmm. Hmm? A higher power? A rewarder of good deeds and punisher of the wicked? Something men can turn to in their darkest moments when their days seem only like bridges from one tragedy to the next? Our gods are all these things. Are there no gods? We are in a sacred place within earshot of the gods themselves. This is not the time. You've been through much these past few months. You will return home and you will rest. When you feel you have recovered, you may rejoin us at the trials. The Inquisition is far from over, and I will have need of you. There are many who continue to spread the lies of the apostate. The Inquisition will not end until we have pronounced judgment on all of them. Inquisition, here we go. Diddly tattoo, Harry. I just got back from an order to fate. What's the order to fate? It's what you are to do, but you do anyway. Okay. Mel Brooks fan, can have it. Two and two daggers. How did you find it? <sighs> I didn't. It was a lady. It was lady. Well, Another in a string of acts of petty defiance. For all her knowledge, she always preferred spite over reason. She loved you. Then she should have obeyed. I ask one thing of all my followers. She was incapable. A waste of rare talent and intellect. Blind obedience is not the last of someone with a mind of their own. Her talent and talents were too great for her to live as your servant. What of your cohorts, then? They have followed you to their deaths. Is it loyalty that brings them here? Or is it, as my agent suggests, that they have no direction of their own? You. You worshipped Aethus, did you not? Hmm. Your spies are good. What gave me away? The okay? cake? <laughs> Yet when your god needed you the most, you chose your country. We were being invaded. Not by anyone who was acting like a god. 
Then I should think your hometown gave you a hero's welcome when you returned. Well, they made cake. <laughs> and I think you can expect folks to get jumpy when the gods aren't there to reassure them. Maybe if they weren't all too busy trying to kill each other. The gods argue over how best to prevent Kith society from destroying itself. These disruptions would not be necessary were mortal instinct not so diseased. You built a weapon that delivered exactly as promised. I served my goddess as you did yours. Yet the other builders were slain. Eleven of a dozen. Why not you? Were you somehow different? Redeemable in your god's sight? There was a message there, whether she meant it or not. Or was it merely that your goddess wanted you dead as well? That your delusions of importance prevented you from seeing the obvious? A whore's beguiling charms, nothing more. <laughs> but the spell's broke now, Theos. The trial's over. I know friend from foe. And I've come here now. To see a foe repaid. You were able to destroy a god because another god wished it. Without her hand to guide you, you could not strike at a god any more than you could strike the sky. You are impotent, and not just from the pots. State your name and purpose, young acolyte. My name belongs to the gods, in my hand to their service. And I'm going to purge it of your stain. You serve none but yourself. Without contact with your order, you can have no higher purpose. Hmm. Only the base concerns of the flesh. You have cast yourself from our ranks. No. I've risen above them. I'll take the leaden key and lead in a way that you, who remained nothing more than a slave to the gods, never could. A leader without insight, directing an organization that does not question. Quite a vision, Initiate. Hmm. You are here because you are lost. The gods cannot reach everyone, I'm afraid. May you fare better in your next lives. I gather you have had your soul awakened. Why else would you shadow my footsteps like some stray mongrel? You think I have something to offer you, but our business was concluded long ago. you Antonio, I know. I live my life the lies you told you owe me the truth. I answered your questions once. That your soul is not fit to accept the answers is of little concern to me. I lied to no one. Not to you, not to anyone. The gods are real. They are everything we need them to be, and the world is better for it. You deny the generation its place in the world. You're saying that it somehow improves things. You have lied to everyone, yourself most of all. I have no illusions about the costs involved. But what your brief lifespan obscures is that it is what must be done. The heart of this country has skipped a beat, nothing more. I have done far worse. Hm. I plunged the peaceful kingdom of Telosus into civil war. I slew the monarch of Desantio, whose people never knew hardship under his rule, and replaced him with a cruel despot who brought them to ruin. When plague arrived at the great city of Arborensis, I saw to it that the cure did not. They piled their dead outside the city in heaps that rose above their walls. I don't see how any other cards are out of those places will still exist. Precisely. Their histories are droplets of water falling into an endless sea. They are significant unto themselves for a moment. And then they are gone. There was a time, back when your soul was still a shapeless mist, when the world believed only in false gods. Thousands of them. Gods that told them to take slaves. Gods that told them to make war upon their neighbors and devour the slain. Gods that told them to burn their children alive and cover themselves in the ashes as a sign of their faith. But all that changed when they learned of the true gods. Our gods. All those misshapen, 
bestial instincts melted beneath the radiance of our god's majesty. You could see it in their eyes. That dull emptiness replaced with the glimmer of a kindled spark. You led them to overcome their nature. No person can overcome his instincts by himself. Only with the aid of a god, someone he will respect and listen to, even against his every impulse, does he stand a chance. Have you imagined this existence? The one the apostate would have created? We are not all so virtuous as she. Without our gods, the most wicked, the most tyrannical, they would take that power for themselves. But more than that, it would be a hollow existence. All mysteries forever unanswered. All purposes constructed from meaninglessness. No endings to bring closure. Only a wheel turning without mercy, grinding our spirits to dust. Telling yourself each day that what you do matters, that it isn't all for nothing, that the world is just. The apostate's world is built on believing lies. All I have seen, the millennia of experience. I will not be dissuaded from this course. This is the only way. Be stopped. You are blind to think here that the only way you are controlled by your own doubts. We are all controlled by our own doubts. Better that we should be relieved of them. With your soul and thousands of others, I will see this world purged of its suffering. Hear me, Woodica. Your servant calls for aid. Oh, shit. Roak ten! How may I go? Yes? Oh, damn it. Summons.
Yes. Who's he attacking? Who, who's she attacking a wizard? Shit. Come on, bro, move. Keep them occupied. Joker. Hmm. Hey. How may I help? Okay, got him. Good, good, good. Get, Get on him. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
Come on, baby. You can do it. Keep knocking them on the That's not very. Get on Thanos. Lama. The unseen. Damn, bro. That's not very hard. Come on. Listen yourself. Come on. Knock. Knock him on his ass. Come on, guys, you got him, you got him. Come on, stick him. I can't the angry one. That's not very helpful. No, gunshot for the kill. Oh, oh, oh. At your feet, rest the body of Thanos, how the divine Franklin shaped by silent shudder and of eternal burden. Those moves are called color drained face. His soul remains still for a moment. The Thanos' his energy expended in defeat. He lies for all across the body like a death trial. He was good at serving his god, I give him that. <laughs> He should have picked a better one. Dale. All those lives. And at the end of them, he was no better than the very people he sought to guide. Hmm. A pity you would ever have to face that realization again. Explore Thanos' soul. With a deep breath, you plunge into Thanos' soul, where it probably had been a maze of narrow corridors and dead ends, now expansive, borderless wall of Kremlin to heat like the rose of England. You, you travel a scene for ages, yada yada. You come out in a room where you are standing now, but it's new and pristine, filled with people, a thousand of them, all turned towards a great order of pillar. You turn your back towards the machine, your rest goes straight beneath. You take your place in front of it, place your hands upon the board, which kind of like this at the face of the crystal column, you speak a single word. Uh, the entire room shakes and now the force of the accelerating machine, all the sounds from the light staff to dinner, it's all from the trendles. When the tendrils disappear, leaving their way to the white people. When they're not peers, there's no mass of love and fear. There's something about your hand out of this man. There's no pain, there's no pain, there's no pain. I'm all sad at the reality that you have to through the memory and you find yourself in your own skin once more than you have to feel like a lifeless body. Cycle, you will remember this and I'll remember that no one can hide the truth forever all your Tear your soul apart. I do not envy you, Thanos. If all people will have the memories can hold over the time you were great. Hmm. Return it to the cycle. You remember this and I'll remember no man can hide from truth. Tear your soul apart. Banish your soul to breath down and destroy all memories contained within. Your memories make you a slave to your own past. Perhaps it can be undone. It perhaps it can't be undone, but it can be forgotten. I shall trouble none of us anymore, Teresa. This is No! Amazing. You cannot allow this. He will have no reminders. He will not remember the message we wrote on his fragmented bones and carved into his flesh. The lesson we burned into his soul. You are kinder to that man than I would have been.
Yeah. Hmm. Oh shit, save it. What am I doing? Before something happens. Oh. The approaching machine, the path doesn't change its cover road if you're in the position of nowhere. The shrill crackle turns your head. Standing next to you, the most man child there for the you notice someone wandering down the road the car, the You know something of quiet servitude, watcher. Groveling and simpering before the gods whose aid you need, so that when they finally raise you to a place of power, you can seize what you desire. You have labored at the pleasure of others. That shriveled hag in Hadrat House. Those preening soldiers with more taste for silk than steel. The wretched tribesmen playing out their fantasies of grandeur. And then you cowered and knelt before the gods themselves, begging one paltry favor and receiving riddles and visions in response. And now the gods give you orders and commands, even while you set out to fix what they cannot. Yet what have they offered you? The exiled queen is not an ungrateful patron. Finish the work Theos began. Strengthen Woodica with these souls and allow her to become the most powerful of all the gods, with you as her favored. Safely hidden, yes, from the violent old lord who would see the no one the world needs some machines that are in our society. And unsavory as it sounds, there is wisdom in this. Remember, the riots and fights, babe, what kind of matter was being heard to me? I've been working, I can't say all the What do you mean? Loyal and weak, those provided him against the NFL, no matter me, you have no idea what's worse than mine. But you have proven merciful, even the schemes of the gods of Whitaker has a long memory watcher for both friends and foes, and she keeps her oath. What do you mean, favored? The pursuit of Whitaker's blessing she allowed her amazing the mortals for some reason if you have. She will become the most powerful of all the gods. <laughs> what do you want to say? Uh, the only one I wish you knew I pull in from the course of her broken crown from my staff when I have finished with the trail. So you say as your companion, you have been abandoned by his own god. Do you really trust him to make an alliance for yours? I won't help him. I consider I'll consider what you said. Yes, consider well the prosperous lives and the power that awaits you. I'm certain you'll choose well. Oh, uh, uh, Brett? Hey, bear witness of the place of Tunnels. Take a man to activate the machine. Uh, return to the Ah, I'm going to allow the souls to pass through that. Uh. Hmm. All right. Send the souls back to Rune Circle. Return the souls to bodies that were intended for entropy. Just the souls and consider an existence. Distribute the essence to uh, existing souls and endure with to strengthen them. Uh, allow the souls to pass through the veil. And okay. so we did promise the guide of the hunt. He's the one that helped us. So I think I'm gonna go with that. What is a man if he don't keep his word? His painter was sent out where sinking the man's computer send this machine game speed. A brief moment. Won the game? Aha, I got the crap I got the uh won the game. Uh enforce a great force to an Ontario part of the destruction. Uh oh. <laughs> it's the end of the game, boy. It's been a long time. command. The ancient device became your instrument spinning to life with deafening resonance and gathering up the swirling essence like thread on a great spindle. There, in the pale pulsing glow of the machine that set you on this path long ago, you summoned all your strength, focusing on your objective and blocking out all else. With a single concussive blast that rocked the chamber and sent you tumbling to the ground, 
you freed the souls from their stasis. Exhausted, your consciousness slipping away, your last sight was of the machine, dark and dormant. Then your eyes closed, and sleep welcomed you at long last. After coming to and searching for some time, you discovered the route Theos used to enter Sun in Shadow, and embarked on a long and arduous ascent back to the surface. You emerged in Terra Evron after days of tunneling through the rubble Theos had left behind, and when you stepped into the daylight, you were faced with a different Deerwood than the one you had left. At your direction, the essence gathered in Sun and Shadow was sent across Deerwood to meld with and galvanize the souls of its people. In the days that followed, Dear Woodens, confronting adversity and expecting to be at the mercy of their own weakness, instead found strength and the will to persevere. The aggrieved found themselves able to carry on after their losses. The desperate found new reasons to hope. Hmm. And the new reasons to hope were many, for Wideland's legacy had come to an end after 15 years. Hollow births ceased in the Deerwood and a country that only days ago had seemed on the brink of collapse was suddenly on the path to a recovery, a fitter, more resilient country in the preferred image of the God of the Hunt. Though you had killed Lord Radric in his throne room, so strong was his drive to rid his land of Aethasians that he returned to life as a death guard, mm. a deathless crusader for his brutal cause. Mm. With the remains of his humanity stripped away, Radric came to see all the people of Gilded Vale as worshippers of Aethus, and one day he led his forces into the village personally to see them all purged from his lands. Gilded Vale was left a hollow shell, hmm. its buildings ruined, and its people slaughtered. Even travelers and would-be squatters knew better than to take refuge inside its borders. Lord Radric returned to Radric's hold, where he remained, keeping eternal watch over his barren domain. Following the assassinations of Duke Avar Wolfgren and Lady Webb, Defiance Bay was thrown into political upheaval. In the ensuing weeks, the streets had become the domain of looters and blackguards. Few dared to step outside their own doors alone or unarmed. But order was soon re-established by the Knights of the Crucible, who, despite their depleted numbers, had gained favor in the public eye for their role in the unraveling of the conspiracy surrounding Wideman's legacy, and were quickly reinforced by returning forces from Fleetbreaker Castle. For the Knights, their resurgence marked a return to the tradition as well. Having seen firsthand the dangers presented by dabblers and animancy, hmm. the Order quickly abolished the practice internally, preferring the familiarity of their hammers and forges to the uncertainties of Essence and Adra. Their identity rediscovered, the Knights suppressed their political aspirations and began once again to train their recruits in the art of blacksmithing, recapturing the post-revolutionary ideals of Deerwood and regaining the respect of its citizens as a result. Though the machine atop Terra Noaneth had been disabled, it had not seen its last use. Heritage Hill was rebuilt, and no sooner had the first families moved in to resettle the district than members of the Leaden Key acting under standing orders from their Grand Master, climbed the tower and reactivated the machine. The initiate slew a handful of the new settlers under cover of night, and watched as history repeated itself, the victims reanimating and devouring the survivors. After this second incident, the district would remain abandoned. The Duke's assassination at the apparent hands of an Animancer had caused catastrophic rioting in the streets of Defiance Bay, and few Animancers survived the first day. Many Deerwoodens took the end of Wideman's legacy as a sign, both that the gods did not approve of Animancy, and that the purging of Animancers in Defiance Bay had been enough to satisfy them. In time, their rage would subside, and a number of surviving Animancers remained in and around Defiance Bay, often taking to the wilds to practice their science without repercussions. The town of Deerford had seen the last of the Cult of Scan. Dark rumors about the town's many curses quickly faded, and travelers soon returned. The fortress of Cad Nua emerged as a bastion of security in the midst of an untamed land, becoming the envy of every thane and earl in Deerwood. Hmm. Legend grew over time of its impregnability, 
and stories of formidable invaders easily scattered by the Keep's defenses became popular around the hearths of Deerwood Indians. <laughs> Likewise, it also became a beacon to travelers, merchants, and visiting dignitaries alike. Reputed as the finest <laughs> fortress in all Deerwood, people would journey from near and distant lands alike to experience its fabled hospitality and grandeur. <laughs> The Audra Dragon, known as the Master Below, her soul now housed in the body of the Huntress Fallen Roet, passed out of Deerwood in relative anonymity, her final destination unknown, even to herself. Mm -hmm. She was last seen in the port town of Rhodes End, boarding a ship, an Audra talisman glowing about her neck. Ah. Adair chose not to return home to Gilded Vale. Through a number of quiet inquiries, he soon found his way into the underground organization of Aethasians known as the Night Market. Ironically, in learning that the gods had been fabricated, Adair found his faith in Aethas renewed, and that his god was neither alive nor truly a god had become irrelevant. He rose quickly through the ranks of the Night Market for his optimism and for his bold leadership, his ultimate goal to make the Deerwood a place that would welcome followers of the Shining God once again. <laughs> When the dust settled in sun and shadow, Aloth looked upon the remains of Theos Ix Arcanon, his former master. He saw where the Grand Master had gone wrong, and he knew what he would do better. The secret of the gods would be preserved, and with it, the sanity and well-being of all kith. He donned the remains of Theos' ceremonial garb, and prepared himself for the long and lonely task ahead. Uh -huh. After all that he had learned in the Watcher's company, Kanorua could no longer see meaning in his pursuit of the Tanvi Oratoa. He decided to leave what remained of it within the depths of the Endless Paths and return home. Kana bid the Watcher farewell and sailed back to Rawatai, spending the tempestuous journey reflecting on the time he had lost to the pursuit of falsehoods. His family found Kana much changed, his fiery excitement replaced with a weary solemnity. Determined to change his wandering ways, Kana took up a quiet life as a lorekeeper at the college, teaching young students the traditions of their people. With Theos defeated and the souls released from sun and shadow, healthy children were born once again in the Deerwood. The grieving mother sought a place where she might do penance for the birthing bell. She returned to Deerford, where, to the astonishment of the villagers, she delivered the first healthy child hmm. in over a decade. She remained there, and with each new birth, she saw a measure of hope restored to the Deerwood, and a measure of grace for her own troubled past. Durance continued to blame Woodica for the atrocities hmm. of the Saints' War. Believing Magrin to have been a pawn in the machinations of the Queen that was, and feeling that Theos' expulsion had been a step towards reconciliation with his goddess, Durance tried for a time to reopen communication with her. When only silence came, he took it as a condemnation of his continued existence. Hmm. Ultimately, he built a pyre and threw himself upon it, using his own shattered staff as kindling. <sighs> you and Sagani never found Persok together. The Adra figurine had gone dark by the time they emerged from Sun and Shadow, and it was another month before Sagani finally accepted that Persok's trail had gone cold again. Hmm. Her search took her beyond the Deerwood and as far as the living lands. She saw the great coastal cities of Rawatai and the ruins of Old Velia, absorbing the details of these strange and distant lands. Twenty years passed before the Adra figurine finally glowed again. When it did, she followed its signal to a quiet hamlet on the outskirts of Adir. There, she met a young farmer and told her of her past as an elder of Masuk. Sagani returned to a village that had forgotten her face, but remembered her story. Masuk greeted her with cautious warmth, and Sagani found that their ways had become strange to her. She also learned that Kalu had perished of winter fever a few mm. years before, and her middle child, Najuo, had died in a raid. But she found her daughter Yakona a hunter and mother of three, and her son Malak a builder of mighty walls. In them, she came to find her place in the village and the familiar contours of a world that had changed in her absence. For you, the death of Theos brought an end to your waking visions hmm. and a silence to the whispers of the past. In their absence, 
you were able to sleep. The questions of a distant lifetime ceased to trouble your soul. All that remained was what to make of the answer. Hmm. But at the moment, there was little to be done, and the matter would have to wait. A long journey loomed ahead. <coughs> well, that's pretty cool. Ha 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 ha. That's awesome, man. All right, well, I had fun. It was a great game. It was a very long game. Um, but I enjoyed it. I, I was fine. It reminded me a lot of Baldur's Gate. I have to admit, it reminded me a lot of, a lot of Baldur's Gate. Anyway, it's been fun. Great time. I'll, eventually I'll purchase Dwight March and play it, but time for something else. <laughs>